Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Courtney Shanice. Nice to meet you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate your continued support. So today I'm going to be doing a Beer 52 unboxing. So it came in this box. They were doing a Easter special where it was uh, 10 craft beers for £10 which I thought was brilliant because if you go to any shop or online and you try and get craft beer you're looking at you know two to three pounds a can sometimes even more depending on the brand um and beer 52 is a subscription where you can get a crate of I think it's 12 cans of beer a month um which is 24 pounds um and they help you try new different brands tastes so whether you like dark whether you like lights whether you want to mix you can pick and choose um if you like fruity if you like like citrus um you know they can help you find one that suits your taste so i have done a beer 52 unboxing before uh, which was a subscription one so i'll put that in the link down below um so check that out after you finish watching this um but yeah this one is a 10 can box um it's just a one-off box that they have so let's see what we got so they do it's heavy <laughs> so they do pack it quite well I do have a link um, which can get you money off your first box um, or first purchase because they do also have an online store so I will put that down below and you can get money off your first try. So first off we've got two little snacks. So we've got the Penn State Baked Pretzels in Original Sea Salt. I absolutely love these so they are mine. Um, and then you've got the Brave Roasted Peas, Sea Salt and Vinegar, high in protein. Those will go to my dad. <laughs> I brought this pack of 10 and I was like, I'll have five and then my dad can have five or we'll just do it where we like have half a can each, try different things. Um, so yeah, that's the little bonding experience. <laughs> okay, so the first one is by Big Isle. And it's called Flannel Pajamas Oatmeal Stout, made in Chicago, Illinois. I love that packaging. So this is smooth bodied oatmeal stout with aromas of roast and cocoa, flavoured notes of fudge, coffee and caramel. This is a 5.4% alcohol volume. Um, so yeah, sounds interesting. Okay, next we've got a Palm Shade Tropical Hazy IPA and this is 5.8% alcohol and does it say where it is? This is also made in Chicago, Illinois. Next we've got Beguile Coffee Friends Coffee American Brown Ale. I love that packaging. I love coffee. So this beer has a caramel malt character with coffee added to it. Coffee and beer go together. So there we go. This is 5.6%. Think about trying that. Next, we've got the Il Dorado Hazy Session IPA. This is a 4.2%. This is by Penrose. This is made in Geneva, Illinois. So, yeah, nice. Next, we've got a lager and this is 4.7 percent it's smooth it's malty it's balanced um 
at central great central we proudly brew according to the german purity law which means we only use malt hops water and yeast our brewmaster handpicks the hops direct from verdant german farmers complex flavors emerge from these four main ingredients alone highlighting the skill and precision of our team it's simple and honest and we believe the finest way to brew great beer mm, nice Interesting. Next, we've got L Rain Chicago IPA. This is a 6%. Um, yeah, I think these are all made in Chicago, so that's cool. in Chicago but I would like to visit. This is the Noon Whistle Cosmo Pale Ale 5%. Um, this is made in Lombard Naperville. I don't know. <laughs> um, a light orange hue and a citrus nose from the Falcona flights hops make this balanced and crushable. Mmm, I do like orange things, so that'd be quite nice. Next, we have got the Temperance Beer Co. Karaoke Tears Hazy India Pale Ale. This is 6%. Love that artwork on the packaging. This that late night karaoke haze, we've all been there when emotions run high and the song cue keeps building when our tuning isn't quite there and everyone knows it and we absolutely crush it, but no one cares, sometimes tears follow. Brewed to celebrate those off-key moments in front of friends and strangers, karaoke tears hits that high note with melodious hop aromas and no actual tears. That's so cool. <laughs> I do love a good karaoke. I've never cried over it, but yeah. Next, we've got the Temperance Beer Co. Restless Years. This is the Pale Ale with Rye. This is 5.8%. Restlessness is movement. It thirsts for change, defies expectations, and forever explores. Crisp and refreshing with sweet hints of pure joy, our Pale Ale keeps things moving with tropical aromatic hops and a clean rye finish. Turn your restless nights to restless years. Cool. <laughs> and then the last one this is the noon whistle bernie milk stout this is five percent dark and delicious with full body a slight sweetness with hints of chocolate and roasted barley rich and complex but not too filling mm. nice so yeah those are all the uh, ales, beers that I got in my beer 52 box. I have to say, 10 cans for £10, plus the two little snacks, I think it's totally worth it. And as well, trying, you know, craft beers that you wouldn't normally be able to buy in your local shops. Um, I don't recognise half of these, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. I've not heard of them, so that's really cool, trying something new. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to try it out or if you've tried it out before, what are your thoughts about it? Um, please do hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and the subscribe button. I am now past the 1k, which I'm so happy and grateful for. So now I'm on the way to 2k. <laughs> so I'd be really grateful if you could share this video out. And do leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, uh, if you have any questions, and I will get back to you as soon as I can on that. All right, well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.